There's always distractions in life, but the key is avoiding them. Time is always passing, and I hope you're always progressing. Because if you aren't, you're falling behind. There's an inflation rate on your progress in life. If you're at a standstill, you think you're just not actively moving forward. But the truth is, the world is moving forward, and you aren't. Other people are getting smarter, faster, better, making more money than you. Technology is changing. Culture is changing. If you're not focused on what makes progress in your life, then you've got some big challenges ahead of you. Focus is crucial for success, both in the short term and the long term. Whether it's writing an essay for school or writing a cover letter for a job application. Procrastination weighs you down like financial debt weighs down a bank account. I love watching movies and television, but sometimes you need to tone down all the media consumption. Don't watch reruns just because of something to do. Don't jump on social media out of boredom. If you're going to entertain yourself, do it with intent. Everything should be done with intent. You should be highly aware of how you spend your time. Because you can't get it back. Time is the only commodity. You can't make more of it. You can make more money, but you can't make more time. If you're going to work, put your nose down to the grindstone and start working. Don't work and then check Facebook and then start typing and then get up and get a drink. Put 100% focus into what you decide to do. Some people love the timer method for absolute focus. Get a digital timer or just use your phone and set it to exactly 50 minutes. And for those 50 minutes, you focus just on getting your most important task done. Then take a 10 minute break and go back. Just a few 60 minute blocks of highly functional work can get a lot done. Use a calendar diligently. Block off the most important sections of the day with high value tasks. Have you ever started working on the computer and the next thing you know you're cleaning the kitchen or checking the mail? Those things are good, but stick to what you actually wrote down. Don't be scatterbrained. Ultimately, you need to find what kind of work style fits for you. Because everyone is different. Have you ever heard someone pat themselves on the back for being an early riser? It's true, waking up early and getting a bunch of stuff done before the day begins is efficient. But there are some people who are truly night owls. Their brain functions better at the end of the day when all the troubles are behind them. Know when to grind and when to relax. Because you can't grind out work 100% of the time. I don't care how dedicated you are. You can't. You'll get exhausted. What most people do is they feel a little bit of discomfort and then they choose to relax for the entire day. <laughs> What you should be doing is planning your downtime and schedule good methods of relaxation, like a little getaway. You don't have to travel to an exotic location, maybe just an hour train ride to another city, maybe a day long hike if you live near a forested area. You should either be in the office creating tons of value for yourself and other people or out of the office enjoying yourself and keeping stress off your mind. As you learn to stay focused, subscribe to the Endless Motivation channel for more inspiring videos. Oh,